Okay, uh, uh, hi Skip, how you doing? Skip's been here for a couple of days. He drove down from uh, St. Augustine. and uh, Tell us what you've been doing for the last couple of days on the Genie Green Electric. All right, we took it up to 12 volt DC system. We've got our battery banks down here. There are more batteries to be going in. Uh, this we're actually going to put in four Group 31, the yellow batteries, the same ones we're using on the propulsion system. We're going to put in uh, Royal Battery, Brute Force, uh, uh, four Group 31s at 110 amp hours, which will give you 440 amp hours. No. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Skip. Respectable. We've got our main battery bank is fuse. I believe that's a, was it a 300 amp? 300 amp it is. fuse. Yeah. Fuse coming right off the batteries. We go from there directly into our uh, AB switch, one, two, with, with one, and marked here on the side, is the a, uh, one is the breaker panel, I put A, but it should be one, two is the windlass, I don't know if I spell windlass right, um, of course that feeds on out to, the, to their pers uh, respective places. Coming off of the hot side of the battery, we've got a wire going over feeding our bilge pumps, we've got three of them installed, they're uh, in and tested. Uh, I've got 20 amp breakers on each one of those, might be a little overkill. And of course our main ground bus bar here. So uh, everything's labeled, barked, we should be in good shape other than... Now what size wire here. are you going up to the uh, panel with? Uh, well, the, to the uh, DC panel. The DC yeah. panel here, this actually, well, yeah, it goes into the switch uh, uh, and then goes out on, I believe that's number one okay. gauge wire. Which is a little bit of an overkill, but you know, we felt it was just overkill what this boat's all about. Better overkill than underkill, huh? Yeah. And uh, so anyway, she just came in kind of neat and clean. Got a nice clean battery compartment to work with. And so uh, we should be good to go with and add in our other bilge pump for the uh, port mid uh, uh, pump. Okay, uh, this is the this is the the starboard forward is probably th this one, right? The one right under. The okay, current. and then we'll have a captain's cord, and they'll we'll have another. Port yeah. Starboard, yeah, so we've got four down. actual bilge pumps in the boat, four mm -hmm. sections. We've got mm -hmm. two right over the keel. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we got mm -hmm. two back in each engine room. Mm -hmm. In each mo, it's not mm -hmm. it's not an, it's now a motor room, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily an engine room, <laughs> but it is a it yeah. is, but it's an engine room. And then so is there anything that you'd say if somebody was doing this as a DC an electric boat or non-electric boat? Any comments you made? Uh, I noticed that the bilges are hot wired, so yeah. Right. So if you lose, if you lose, blow this fuse here for a short elsewhere. You still got your your uh, your fused bilge pump. So so no matter what happens, a lot of people, some people argue, says you know should you put the bilge on the main panel mm -hmm. or should you put the bilges at the battery box? What's your opinion? I, I, I like it separate like this. It's a totally separate circuit, clean, short run, fused right here. So. Um, so if the boat has issues, you don't have to worry about going and finding a breaker panel. Correct. And of course, other than a battery meltdown, you know, we've got, should have our, you know, power to our, to our uh, bilge pumps. Uh, the port start, uh, forward will go here. And the other question is going to be, do we want to run separate wires for the shower bilge pumps? Off here, absolutely. From here too. Yeah, I think I think we're going to have a shower sump that's new, mm -hmm. and I'm also going to have a shower sump up here. Mm -hmm. So that'll be that one too. So that'll and that be might the other two circuits. Yeah, the, the that'll be the last two. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Skip, right. for coming down, and we'll uh, uh, we'll look forward to maybe getting you down here again, or at least getting you to the Miami Boat Show. All righty, well, enjoy it. For We've been eating good, <laughs> been good eating good real crew, good, really. Good crew to work with, been having a lot of fun, and so yeah, yeah, good time. Cool, cool. Thanks. All righty. Uh, we're now on the we're now on the port side of the boat. And Jeff's going to tell us what he's done uh, from the uh, from the batteries as well as the breaker panel. I mean Skip. Did I call you Skip. <laughs> he's he's I mean, coming, Jeff. Jeff. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm Wait. sorry. Yeah, Skip. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, we got our bilge pumps hooked in. Uh, this is our bilge pump switch out here, which is on here. That's manual. Wired in from our wires coming over from our fuse panel by the battery box. Of course, the, the fuses here are eliminated. We're using our fuse at the other end. Now, this is our 12-volt uh, cigarette lighter type outlet, which feeds down to a, a little uh, uh, block, I guess we a call it. A little block down there? Yeah. Okay. Now, our hot lead comes in at the top, and then we can tap off for any circuits for uh, our fan, our... Um, 
lights and all can just tap right off here. All that's going to run off a uh, breaker panel. Uh, uh, on the main breaker, breaker panel, circuit breaker. Right. Okay. And I, what I think, I think those are 15 amps, so that should, you've got 12, 12 gauge wires coming and feeding it, and 16 coming up to the short runs we can use to our lights okay. and our fans. So, nice clean setup. So you got a to, manual, you got your automatic, and the bilge pump is automatic, so the safety's there for the uh, flooding of the, of the system. Mm -hmm. And then you got, uh, uh, we decided to use a, a normal stuffing box here, so we will have a little bit of water in the bilge and it'll evaporate, or if it gets to be, we have any other issues, we'll have that solved. And how many how many gallon pump was that? A 500? I think that's a 500 gallon per minute. Okay. There's new hose, and all, new, new clamps and stuff, so uh, like I say, everything is done except for the um, Bilge pump up in the the forward bilge pump on the starboard side. Okay. There's a pump in there and there's wire. I was trying to track down some wiring for it, but I think we're just going to run all new stuff. Okay. So I think that's thank, it. Thank you. Uh -huh.